I am Dr. Patil Sunil Kumar S, Professor and Head Civil Engineering Department, Walchen Institute of Technology, Solapur. So the today's topic of discussion is numerical example on analysis and design of hill slab under cantilever retain for a cantilever retaining wall. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, learners will be able to analyze and design heel slab of a cantilever retaining wall. Example, design heel slab of a cantilever retaining wall to retain an earth embankment with a horizontal top 3.5 meter above the ground level, density of earth 18 kilo newton per cubic meter, angle of internal friction 30 degree. SBC safe bearing capacity of soil is 200 kN per meter square. Take coefficient of friction between the soil and concrete as 0.5. Adopt M20 grade of concrete and 415 grade of steel. The preliminary dimensions of the retaining wall are as shown in figure 1. Now this is the figure showing the preliminary dimensions. So this is vertically is the stem and this portion of a base slab it is toe slab and this portion is heel slab. Now here we find we have assumed the 200 mm thickness or 0.2 meter thickness at the top and we have assumed 400 mm or 0.4 meter at the bottom thickness of this particular stem slab. Now similarly toe as well as heel slab thickness we have assumed it as 0.4. So the distance the difference in level between these two heights that is ground level at downstream and up uh, other side of the uh, retaining wall it is 3.5 meter below the the re earth retained. So now first of all we are supposed to calculate the minimum depth of foundation that is d minimum which is determined by using SBC of soil divided by the density of soil multiplied by k square where k is the coefficient of active earth pressure. So that has worked out to be 1.25 meter. So now the total height from the base to the top it is 4.35 rather 3.5 plus d minimum therefore it was out to be 4.75 meter. Now analysis of heel slab. Heel slab act as a cantilever slab having a length L2, this is length L2, this is heel slab, so this is stem slab and this is toe slab of a cantilever retaining wall, L2 as shown in figure 2. So here in figure 2 we will find this particular heel slab. Now this is subjected to a downward pressure that is earth pressure which is weight of the earth which is retaining on heel slab or which is above heel slab. And due to the horizontal pressure retaining uh, pressure of earth and the weight of all these stem slab, toe slab and heel slab there will be a reaction P1, P2, P3, P4. So this is a reaction under the base slab. Now can you just imagine where will be the maximum bending moment produced in case of heel slab. Now heel slab is a cantilever, so therefore can you guess where will be the maximum bending moment? The maximum bending moment in the heel slab will be at the inner face of the stem slab. If you just see the figure, here you will find at this particular location we will get maximum bending moment. So this is a cantilever slab subjected to 88.3 kN per meter that is the weight of the earth then here it is subjected to a pressure bottom pressure 1.12.8 newton per m kilo newton per meter and here the other value so here we find that all these things it is subjected to a net downward force downward uh, force acting on this particular hill slab so therefore this is a cantilever which produce which, which will have a uh, bending moment maximum at this inner face of stem slab. Now its width is rather its length is 1.35 meter. Then weight of backfill it is gamma into H1. 
that is works out to be 78.3 kN per meter. The self weight, it is 0 0.4 into 1 into 25, that is 10 kN per meter self weight of the hill slab. So total downward load works out to be 88.3, which is as shown in figure 2. Now we will calculate maximum bending moment. So maximum bending moment is calculated. So first of all, for calculation, I will just show it on the figure. So this is the total downward load 88.3. So the length of cantilever it is 1.35 meter. Therefore, 88.3 into 1.35 square divided by 2. That is the bending moment due to downward pressure. So that is the first one which we have taken 88.3 into 1.35 by 2 minus. So 12.8 that means further what we have done. We have divided this particular trapezoidal loading into a rectangular load and a triangular load. So P2 is a rectangular load throughout up to here. So therefore we have taken again it will be 12.8 into L2 square divided by 2 that will be the next bending moment it is upwards therefore it is negative so first one is downward therefore positive or it is clockwise positive this is anti-clockwise negative okay then next further the triangular portion remaining so it is one half 69.53 is the extreme pressure and minus 12.8 that is the balance the ordinate of the pressure into 1.35 this will give you the load so again it acts at cg that is one third the one third the ordinate therefore one third 1.35 so therefore we get 51.57 uh, kilonewton meter so that is mu will be 1.5 times m so that was thought to be 77.35 kilonewton meter now this is that's all we call it as anal, uh, analysis of hill slab now we are supposed to do the design of hill slab so for design of hill slab, we always equate MU with MU limit to find out the effective depth of the uh, slab. So required to determine and compared with the pro provided depth, which shall be equal to or more than the day required. So here you find 77.35 into 10 to the power of 6. This is MU. It is the 0.138 FCK. FCK is 20. B is 1000, 1 meter d square so we calculate d it was sort of 167.4 which is mm so which is less than 350 mm which is provided therefore hence it is safe therefore it is under reinforced section and the area of steel is determined by using equation g.1.1b of is 456 2000 now as per one point G point, uh, G point one point one B we find MU that is seventy seven point three five into ten power of six is equal to point eighty seven FY AST D into one minus AST FY upon BDFCK. So by equating we calculate the area of steel, it is six thirty six mm square. So AST minimum is point one two percent of B into D thousand into B that is four eighty mm square. Since AST required is to be provided on the top face of the uh, base slab and AST minimum is to be provided perpendicular to it. So using 12 mm bars, the spacing will be area of one bar into 1000 divided by AST required. So that was out to be 177.82. Hence provide main reinforcement 12 mm bars at 150 mm center to center. The reinforcement perpendicular to it is minimum reinforcement it is 12 mm bar spacing will be steel it is given by area of one bar divided by 480 that will be 235.61 say provide 12 mm distribution steel as the 12 mm bars 225 mm center to center now here it shows the reinforcement here you will find this is the main steel 12 mm tor 150 mm center to center and perpendicular to that you have the distribution steel 12 mm tor 225 mm center to center so since this is a cantilever which is having subjected to sagging bending moment therefore steel we have provided top and here uh, the distribution steel perpendicular to it if we want we can even provide this particular distribution steel on both the face also so here i have provided on only one face so this is how we can design 
the heel slab of the cantilever retaining wall. Now these are the references used and thank you one and all for your patience learning. Thank you.